Well, our community continues to struggle with addiction and overdoses are on the rise. But one special unit in Spokane has been working for the last few years to divert those people from jail or emergency rooms and instead help them in finding the help they need. Our Marissa Rio spoke with one man who is now sober thanks to this unit. Marissa. The Spokane Regional Behavioral Health Unit consists of officials from Spokane Police Department, Spokane Valley Police, Spokane County Sheriff's Office, and mental health professionals. It responds to calls for people who are experiencing a behavioral health crisis. That's how Sean Housem, a Spokane local, got connected with this unit. I had already died and was going to die again or end up in prison. As Sean Housem walks downtown, he recalls some of his darkest moments. Addicted to opioids since he was 11, Sean overdosed twice in February. You know, I just knew that I couldn't keep living the life I was living at all. He reached out to Compassionate Addiction Treatment. They called the Behavioral Health Unit, or BHU. Had the officer arrive, talk to me, and he was so welcoming about it and, you know, positive about it that it just... Uh, just eased my mind. And but you look fairly young. I've never seen you down here. That officer was SPD's Richie Plunkett. Here is video from last year when Four News Now went on a ride along with Officer Plunkett. Most he was responding to people just like Sean. A substance use disorder with some sort of mental health disorder. According to SPD, the BHU contacted over 4,000 people in 2023. 74% of them were diverted from going to jail or the hospital. This year, Sean too had a different outcome. After speaking with Officer Plunkett that day, he agreed to letting him drive him to get help. I don't know how he reached me because I didn't think it was possible. But he did reach Sean, and now he walks a sober life. Life was not worth living for me at that point. Like, you know, so there was no hope at all. <laughs> so uh, every day, my every day is filled with hope now, like all day long. From the moment I wake up, I'm smiling because of that. <laughs> Sean completely turned his life around and is now working at Compassion Addiction Treatment, helping others who are struggling with addiction. The BHU has been doing this work since 2020, and it's all funded through the Washington Association of Sheriffs and Police Chiefs. In studio, Marissa Rio for News Now.